Good evening. This is Jared with the Fighter Solutions and the Dev Guy Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about Shopify and a sales pop plugin. Okay, so to start off, what's a sales pop? A sales pop is a pop up notification that sh shows a sale that has been made. Okay, um, in the past there were sales pop notifications that were erroneous. Uh, but Shopify has done away with all of those types of plugins. And so now all sales pop notifications are required to be actual orders that you've received. And so just to give you a live view of what a sales pop notification looks like, I'm going to navigate to one of my websites, uh, GorillaGeeko.com. And then you can see here in the bottom left-hand corner, there's going to be a pop-up notification that's going to show up here. And it's going to show the person's name, their location, and what they purchased. Boom. Sila, Dipping Springs, purchased Tap Out Fitness Boxing Gloves. And of course, that picture doesn't match that. Of course, it's going to be screwed up in this example. But hey, um, that lets me know now that I need to go back and check that out. Um, so we'll navigate to our store, and I'm here on the home page. All right. And this is a first theme store is just what I called it. It's a test store so that I could show you guys stuff. Um, so if you're listening in, you're going to navigate to the left-hand side and scroll down to apps. Click on apps. And in the, this is a, a, a list of all of our plugins that are used on this store. Okay. Uh, any plugins that are here, I've done a previous video on. Okay, so uh, if there's anything that you see here in this plugin listing, that's under the installed apps section. Um, if you see a video here, that means I've, I'm sorry, if you see a plugin here, then that means that I have already made a video just like this on how to install and set up. And please keep in mind that I'm only going to be showing free plugin options for the majority of the time. Um, I try to not utilize paid options within Shopify just because of how they're set up. The payment set up for Shopify is based off of a monthly payment as opposed to other platforms like WordPress where it's an annual payment or a one-time payment. Um, and so that's kind of one of the things I dislike about Shopify, but it's pretty close to the only one. Um, so moving on, uh, as I digress, we're going to in the top right hand corner we're going to click on this visit Shopify app store and that's going to open up a new window and so what we're going to be looking for today is our sales pop so I'm going to type that in sales pop hit enter and right away you'll see we have a whole bunch of options um, the one we're going to be talking about today is this one by beekeeping all right this one is the, the best one on the market right now, and it's free. Um, and again, click on this link, you know, go to the plugin page, and you can scroll down and get more information on this plugin, um, see some examples. Here's a good one right here, um, the holiday specials. Uh, that's pretty snazzy. Uh, any one of these um, <clears throat> different views are different views that you can get and you can swap them out and stuff. Um, I just prefer to use the standard view, which is a light or a dark. That way I don't have to keep going back and changing it, but that's just my preference. Um, so at the top of this page, we're just going to click on Add App. And it's going to navigate us to the installation page. And so, yes, we want to install this uh, in the bottom right hand click on install app and it is going to install it and navigate us to that page um, so we'll close this pop-up here and we'll see right away this is what our notifications are looking like so we're gonna go to the settings and we're gonna style our notifications um, right off the gate you have different styles that you can pick from okay um, let's see there's style one 
I'm just going to stick with style one. All right, and there's your preview on the side. And then we're going to scroll down and select our position options. All right, let me close this holiday stuff. All right, our positions options. Let's see. On the desktop, I do want it in the bottom left. Um, delay time between two notifications, 10 seconds. That's good for me. It's a time, five seconds. That's pretty good for me. Um, maximum dis uh, notifications per page is automatically set to 30. Display notifications in random order. Yes, you don't want them to be on a mobile position at the bottom that's fine repeat synced notifications when there are no new orders synced yes make sure that's synced so for example if you do not get up to the maximum orders so if you get less than 30 orders over the course of um, 60 days then it's going to keep all of those and keep cycling them through, which that should give you plenty of time to assess the situation, figure out what's wrong with your store, and then boost it back out. All right. Uh, leave all of this here. Yes, someone, you want it in your language, which I speak English, and you want it in somewhere. So. When they place an order, they're going to be required to put in their customer name and their city. And so that's not something you're going to have to worry about. <clears throat> so scroll back up to the top. Oh, hide that. Scroll back up to the top, and we're going to click on number two, which is the theme. Okay. So in this instance, here's our basic theme, which is light or dark. You can see that there. There's also a holiday theme, all right? Christmas, New Year's, uh, Halloween, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, and those are very powerful. Um, I just, again, I don't like to change things, so I will leave them the way they are. Um, and this one, I'm just gonna, let's go with the dark theme. Um, and then again, all this stuff at the bottom is the same. And then navigate to section three, the text. All right. So if you're not familiar with liquid, which a lot of people are not, um, the, these are the shortcut codes for liquid to pull in that information. Okay. So this is pretty much all you'll ever need for this here. Same thing with this. You probably won't need more than a product link or title. Um, and then how long ago it was purchased. So that should cover everything that you need here. And so scroll down to the bottom and click right here, save and activate. And right there you'll see that it's been updated and this notification is turned on. So if we close this, and we go back to our home page. All right, we're going to click on this view store all seeing eye here. And it's going to pull up our generic store. All right. Now, since we have not received any orders, we are not going to have any notifications. That's the big kicker with this. All right. This uh this plugin keeps you honest. And that's what people love about it. And that's what I love about it. Not only can I display to my customers that people are purchasing product, but at the same time, I'm not looking to deceive my customers. And you shouldn't be either. And that's why this is a great plugin to add to your store. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns with this plugin itself, just shoot us a message at info at fightersolutions.com or comment on any of our social media pages. Thanks and have a good day.